These are the top 100 most populous cities in Germany. 50% of them are located west of Bremen, and only Dresden is east of Berlin. However, Berlin is the capital of Germany. In my opinion, it is more optimal for the capital city to be located near the center of the country's population. So, in this video, I will check European capitals for their optimal location. I will show you the cities that are best suited to the role of capital. And at the end of the video, you will find out which capital is perfectly located. So let's start with Germany. With each city, a red mark shows an equidistant point for each resident of these cities. That is, the larger the city's population and the further away it is located, the more it affects the population center. So for Germany, the population center is located near the city of Kassel, 270 kilometers from Berlin. My algorithm estimated the optimal location of Berlin at 65%, given the size of Germany. The city of Hanover is located just 100 kilometers north of the population center, and this is a perfect option for the capital. The main routes from Hamburg to Munich and from the industrial Rhine Rohr to Berlin intersect here. If you live or used to live in Germany, please write in the comments whether Hanover is a good option for the capital. Only Slovakia has a worse location for its capital in Europe. Bratislava is located in the far west of the country, while the population center is located near the city of Banska, Bystrica. This is 152 kilometers away, or 56% of the optimum. After Slovakia and Germany comes Bulgaria with 72%. Sofia, like Bratislava, is located in the west of the country, while the large coastal cities of Burgas and Varna in the far east. Let's check the location of the Lithuanian capital. Almost 75% for Vilnius. Obviously, Kaunas would be a better option for the capital. Denmark is next. The capital is located in the far east of the country. It would seem that Copenhagen is no better located than Bratislava. But given the large population on the island of Zealand, the center of Denmark's population is just 78 kilometers west of the capital. Let's check out France. Most of the population lives in cities in the north and in the Paris metropolitan area, but southern cities such as Montpellier, Marseille, and Nice also have a large population. As a result, the population center of France is located near the city of Borges, 214 kilometers south of Paris. Kyiv has a slightly better location. The center of Ukraine's population gravitates towards the large cities of the southeast, Odessa, Dnipro, Kharkov, Donetsk. It is located near the city of Alexandria, about 250 kilometers from Kyiv. Prague is on the 27th place, the capital of the Czech Republic. Look, at this point, Prague is ideally located in the center, but the city of Brno and Czech Silesia pull the center of the population to the east. As a result, Prague gets only 80%. Next up is Finland. The capital of this Scandinavian country is located on the far southern coast. In fact, 50% of large cities are located south of this line. Cities such as Tampere, Lulu, and Kuopio pull the center of the population northwards. It is closer to the city of Tampere. I think it's a great option for the capital. Vienna is in 25th place. Austria stands out among other countries because there are no major cities in the center. Salzburg, Linz, and Graz are located along the perimeter of the country. This is where the center of the population would be located, apart from the Vienna metropolitan area. And here it is. Estonia seems to reflect Finland in terms of the location of cities. 
Thus, the majority of the population lives on the northern coast of the Gulf of Finland, around the capital Tallinn. Only Tartu, the second largest city, significantly shifts the population center to the south. The capital of Romania is located in a similar way to Berlin in terms of the country's territory. But unlike Germany, Bucharest is the single largest city in Romania, so the population center is just 114 kilometers north, near the city of Brasov. Croatia has probably the most unique shape of territory among European countries. It is the only case where the population center is located very close to the border with another country. Nevertheless, Zagreb has a score of 82% of the optimal and is ahead of many other capitals. Neighboring Bosnia and Herzegovina is next in the ranking. The center of the population almost matches the geographical center of the country and is located very close to the city of Zenica. This is the third most populous city, located 57 kilometers northwest of Sarajevo. Warsaw is in 20th place. In general, Poland is very similar to Germany in terms of the location of its main cities. Their capitals are located in the east, have industrial areas with a cluster of large cities, and they also have a clear best option for the capital. For Poland, this is Lodz. It is located in the center of the country, near the center of the population, and at the intersection of all major motorways. It is just now that I have realized why the capitals of Poland, Germany, and Romania are not located in the center. In fact, they are in the center of the population, but the one that was 100 years ago. London ranks 19. The main cities of the United Kingdom are concentrated in the central part of England. Liverpool, Birmingham, Sheffield, Bristol. Near the city of Coventry, there is a population center, 122 kilometers north of London. It would be very similar to Finland if London were on the English Channel coastline. The Swiss capital is not so obvious. In practice, with the presence of the parliament, government, and foreign embassies, Bern is indeed the capital of Switzerland. But many people consider Zurich to be the capital, as it is the most populous and influential city in the country. Our algorithm calculated that the center of Switzerland's population is closest to the city of Lucerne. So maybe it should be made the capital? Amsterdam is in 17th place. 38% of the total population of the Netherlands is concentrated in Holland. It is one of the most powerful regions in Europe in terms of economy. There is a special video about it on the channel. The link is in the description. Thus, the center of the Dutch population is located close by. To be precise, it is near the city of Utrecht, or 37 kilometers from Amsterdam. Next up is Ireland. Dublin is located in the far east of the country, similar to Copenhagen, but the population of Ireland is even more concentrated around the capital than in Denmark. Therefore, the population center is located just 46 kilometers from Dublin. Given the size of Ireland, this is 87% of the optimal. 15th place, Skopje. About 64% of the total population of North Macedonia lives above this line. So, it is logical that the center of the population gravitates to the north of the country and is located 25 kilometers from Skopje. Neighboring Greece is next in the ranking. Look, at this point, the population center is located near the city of Larissa. And here, we see the impact of the Athens agglomeration. About 3 million people live here, which significantly attracts the center of Greece's population. The largest cities in Sweden are located in the south of the country, which is the usual pattern for Scandinavia. Take a look at the distribution of the population by latitude. About 50% of the population lives between latitudes 59 and 60, 
and only 9% live further north. Stockholm is located 128 kilometers from the center of Sweden's population, but given the country's large area, this is 89% of the optimal. Rome is in 12th place. About 50% of Italy's major cities are located north of Livorno. In contrast, there are large cities in the south. Naples, Palermo, Bari, etc. Rome is in the middle, just 99 kilometers from the center of the population. If Milan were in Sicily, Italy would be first in this ranking. Slovenia is a pretty small country. Ljubljana is only 23 kilometers from the center of the population, but this is only 89% for such a small country. Albania opens the top 10. The population center is located 27 kilometers south of Tirana. Norway is next. The location of major cities is very similar to Sweden. They are mostly in the south, with the capitals in the southeast. But thanks to a long bay, Oslo is located inland, just 108 kilometers from the population center. From this perspective, it is clear to see why Oslo is ahead of Stockholm. Eighth place Belgrade. Serbia's population is concentrated mainly in the northern part of the country. Thus, 55% of large settlements are located to the north of Belgrade, and only 45% to the south. However, the southern ones are more populated, so the population center is shifted 30 kilometers south of Belgrade. Balara cities are spread equally across the country, with the capital in the center of the country, so it is not surprising that Minsk is so high in the ranking. Look, at this point, Minsk has a rate of almost 96%, and would have taken the second place in our ranking, but Homel, as the second largest city in the country, pulls the population center 14 kilometers closer to itself. Sixth place is a bit of an unusual situation. Portugal has big cities in Madeira and Azores, which are far from the mainland. They strongly pull the center of Portugal's population to the southwest. Thus, Lisbon got almost 94%. If only mainland cities were taken into account, Lisbon would be somewhere near Warsaw in the ranking. Spain also has cities on remote islands. But unlike Portugal, they do not have such a strong impact on the population center. Even without precise maths, it is clear that Madrid is ideally located in the center, and all major cities are on the perimeter of the country. It deservedly took fifth place in the ranking. Fourth place Budapest. Hungary's population is concentrated around the capital. About 40% of the total population lives in the Budapest agglomeration. So, the population center is located just 22 kilometers south of the capital. Moldova opens the top three. Moldova's cities are spread quite evenly across the country. Therefore, the population center is also located in the center. Kishino is only 13 kilometers south. The second place goes to Riga. The peculiar shape of the country, with a large bay in the north, allows Riga to be close to the geographical center, population center, and seacoast at the same time. And only Dogapils, the second largest city, prevented Latvia from heading the ranking. And here is the winner, Brussels. It is located in the northern part of Belgium, called Flanders. It is here that the majority of the population and the largest cities of the country are concentrated. The population center of Belgium is just 5 kilometers north of Brussels. The first place is well deserved. If you would like a similar video about other countries, please leave a comment. Thank you for watching. Please support the channel by subscribing or donating on Patreon. This will be a good motivation to create better content. See you in the next videos.